Hey everybody, my name is Zach King. Uh, we're making what we call rendezvous punch today. Uh, it's pretty tasty, really easy, uh, and it'll, it'll definitely get you where you need to go. Uh, we'll start things off with, we got a half gallon of black tea. Uh, I like to run this when it's warm because we got to melt down some brown sugar in there. Gallon. That's cool. Two pounds brown sugar. That's basically one bag of brown sugar wherever you go, whatever grocery store you like to go to. Uh, and this stuff, if you ever try to melt sugar in cold water, you really want this tea to be warm. You will be here all day. Try to make as big a mess as possible when you're dumping stuff in there. Once that's good and dissolved, which we are almost there. All right, that looks good to me. Once we're there, we're gonna hit that with 16 ounces. That's one pint of lime juice. Uh, you can go ahead and use store bought if you want. Fresh squeeze is always gonna be better. Uh, I had my little helper monkey in the back squeeze out a good, was it about 16 or so, 20 or so limes. So we're right in there with the lime juice. Lime juice is always good. If you got some seeds in there, that's okay. They're organic. It's not going to hurt anybody. Alright. We are almost done with this. Told you it was easy. Make sure that's all nice and good and incorporated in there. That's looking good. We're looking real good. One fifth of any kind of dark gold rum you desire. Uh, if you're not big on the dark, you can use the silver. Uh, you can mix it up if you want, but however you want. Uh, I don't really like rules, so. This is a sturdy drink. Don't be too scared of it, though. We like to be fancy when we're out there. Got a spare lime here on the side. I'm going to cut it up a little bit so we can float it in there. You know, punch always has fruit floating in there. And we like to fit in, so we're going to float some fruit in there. Plus, the skins of basically all citrus have real good oils going on there. It's going to add a bunch of nice, nice uh, flavors on top of there. To finish, get a little grater. Got a little nutmeg. Nutmeg will last forever. Keep it in your pocket. Take it wherever you go. It's a thing of beauty. Awesome. Get a good bunch of grates on top of there. Make a face when you do it. It is beautiful. This is going to work. I think we're about there. Let's give this a go. about exactly where we need to be. Now, what we do from here, chill it down about an hour, get down to about uh, 40 degrees or so, serve it over ice, you can serve it just like that. You can serve it warm if you got a nice, you know, nice cool night. This will definitely do the trick. And that's how you make Rondi Food Punch. Uh, if you want to know more about the history of such a fiendish beverage, uh, the origins of, uh, including the recipes of how to make it, uh, visit us at HiddenDirt.com. Thank you so much. Well, in the merry month of May, now from me home, I started, left the girls and two were nearly broken hearted, saluted father dear, kissed me darling mother, drank a pint of beer, me grief and tears to smother, then off to reap the corn and leaf, for I was born, got a stout mix hard and bunnish ghost and goblets, a brand new pair of brogues to rock the love of the bogs and frighten all the dogs on the rocky roads, a double, a one, two, three, four, five.